Guys, a bit of a quick diversion here before we get what? to Bob Asante. What are you doing? A story from PubPublic. I know, Carl, you noted it earlier. This oh, the rich, well. the rich get an richer? It's amazing story. In part, I mean, this is not the story itself, but the fact that they were able to get a hold of or somehow uh, received years' worth of, uh, of detailed data on the taxes of the 25 richest Americans, or many of them. Um, and what you see, well, of course, we know it's an income tax, and those of us, obviously, who have a lot of reported income pay uh, a lot in taxes, or can certainly, but the richest uh, clearly don't. Um, and uh, some of the numbers are, are pretty staggering. Take a look. According to Forbes, uh, the 25 richest people saw their worth rise a collective $401 billion from 2014 to 2018, and they did pay a total of $13.6 billion on that. Now, that's in federal income taxes in those five years. That's uh, a lot, right? But it's really only a true tax rate of 3.4%. Now, of course, it's because it's not income. It's how much their wealth went up because right. of their holdings of things like right. Amazon stock, Jeff Bezos, richest man in the world, for example, uh, and others. But the numbers are staggering. The fact that uh, that number is so low in terms of percentage of income because they report so little income and what they do, they're able to offset, is not perhaps a surprise. But again, when you look at the actual numbers, Carl, they're just... They are staggering. Uh, zero percent or zero dollars in federal tax for Bezos in 2011, yeah. 2007. Musk did it in 18. No federal, no federal tax paid? No mm. federal tax paid. And, you know, versus, again, wage earners who are obviously paying. It would take 14.3 million ordinary American wage earners put together to equal the uh, 1.1 trillion that the top 25 people in the country were worth in 2018. And they paid $1.9 billion in taxes, those 14.3 million wage earners, $143 billion. So would, would you it, go with something at Senator Warren? Well, that's the question, right? I mean, can you really apply a wealth tax? Is there any real way to do that? Uh, Stalin did it. How difficult the, that is. Stalin did it in Kiev yeah. in the early 30s. <laughs> right. I mean, but we all know this is happening. We, we can we revisit the tax code to a certain extent. It's an ongoing debate. It will continue to be. And yet... Um, when you have enormous wealth tied up in a company and can simply take a loan against, for example, your, right. your, uh, your, your shares, as Larry uh, Ellison does, he has right. a $10 billion line of credit. You've been to his island? No. Sensational. No. But, but hey, look, he built the company, he created a fortune. Look, look, right. We know that the federal government, the, the rule about taxation is that you have every right to do anything you can legally in order to be able to avoid taxes. You cannot evade. Right. None These of people are illegal. taking advantage. No, None of it. No. I think that's important. It's an income tax. Because they don't have any income or very little. Well, it says that they got to try to, well, to me, it says that they got to try to change it. There's probably 100 million people in our audience who are saying, are you kidding me? I'm going to get that chance. And by when I get there, I don't want to pay anything. Right, right. Including maybe the buyers of, I don't know, Wendy's? Wendy's? Clover? <laughs> don't you sell some Wendy's if you want some? No. Ring the register is what you used to call well, it. I used to say it, but then I had that Baconator with my wife. <laughs> Jeez, that thing is good. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.